Hello, everyone, and welcome to the NERSC AI for Science Boot Camp, taking place August 25th to the 26th. Uh, so before we dive into logistics for this event, I want to give a brief introduction to your boot camp team. My name is Troy. I'll be your event moderator. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Uh, Caleb Smith will be your instructor for these next two days. And we have quite a few amazing teaching assistants that will be helping you throughout this event. Um, we don't have enough time right now to let them introduce you all, but you will be meeting them later on when we go into breakout rooms for the lab portions of the days. So let's go through the agenda very quickly. Um, right now, we'll do a welcome. And after that, I will, so welcome. After that, I will hand this over to Jeremy Moon, who's on my team. And he will go through a connecting to a cluster demo with you to make sure that every, all of you can get connected to NVIDIA's Curiosity cluster. If you have any issues at all, please post in the Slack channel under cluster support. Um, there is a lot of you um, and there is only one of him. So please um, be patient. He will get to you as soon as possible because we all want you connected and playing with our GPU cluster. Um, after that, I'm going to hand it over to my friend Stephen, uh, who will give an AI for Science at NERSC um, to talk about uh, some projects that are happening at NERSC um, and give you a, an overview of what's happening in that space. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to Caleb for the rest of these sessions. Uh, he will do an introduction to AI lecture uh, for about an hour. Uh, then we'll take a nice little coffee break, uh, get up, stretch your legs, get some coffee. Um, and then we will regroup and go through a CNN primer and Keras, a very brief lecture uh, followed by some hands-on activities. Uh, then we'll go ahead and meet. This is completely optional. Uh, we did have you booked for an extra half an hour. Um, so if you wanna stick around, you've got any questions you wanna ask face-to-face, uh, -face, uh, you're more than welcome to do that. And then on day two, uh, we're gonna jump into a lot more of the hands-on components. Um, so the first section we'll go through is a tropical cyclone detection lab, and there'll be a mini challenge attached to that. We'll talk more about that tomorrow. Um, we will take about another 15 minute break, um, and then we'll jump into a steady flow estimation challenge. And again, we'll talk about that a little bit more tomorrow. And then again, optionally, uh, we do have a wrap up and Q&A session. Uh, so very quickly, um, I've also posted this into the Zoom chat, uh, for those of you that haven't been able to join, uh, make sure you join our Slack workspace. This is where all of our communications will run throughout the event. Um, the first channel is announcements, so keep an eye on this for all, all important announcements. This is where I'll post anything relevant uh, to the event logistics-wise, um, just in case we need to switch up anything or we've got problems or whatever. Um, challenges, we'll talk more about this tomorrow. Um, we wanna keep things nice and organized for our TAs. Um, so we do have separate channels for lab questions and lecture questions. So as Caleb is going through those lectures, please post your questions in there. And as we're going through the labs, please post your questions in there. Um, and our TAs will jump right in and help answer those for you. And then again, like I said, we have Jeremy here from NVIDIA who runs our NVIDIA Curiosity cluster. Uh, so any issues you have getting connected, any problems throughout any of the lab materials, uh, please tag him in the cluster support and he will get to you as soon as he possibly can. Um, and then the slide decks from today will be posted in that presentations channel. And last but not least, please introduce yourself. We're only together for a short amount of time. Uh, so we wanna get to know you just a little bit. All right, so very quickly on Slack, um, I've made it very easy so that way when you did join Slack, you were automatically put into all of these different channels. But just in case um, you're, you're not seeing one of the channels that I mentioned here in this slide, uh, please go into this little left sidebar, click on these three dots, um, and it will show you, go to browse channels, and then it will show you all the different channels that we have available for you to join. And uh, finally, I want to talk a little bit about how we're going to use Zoom. Um, so during the, the lecture portions, we're all going to be in this main room. Uh, when we break out into the lab sections, we are going to break you out into groups. Um, this is just so that you can get a little bit more personalized attention from all of our TAs. 
So there'll be probably about 15 of you in each room and there, there will be a TA in each of your rooms as well. So what'll happen is once we wrap up the lecture part and we show you how to, how to get into the lab sections, um, I will open up breakout rooms. You'll automatically be placed into one of those group rooms. Um, the TA that's in that room will share his or her screen, uh, introduce themselves, um, give a little bit of background and uh, let them know that they're available to answer any of your questions throughout your time at this event. So next up, I'm gonna hand this over to Jeremy Moon to talk a little bit about the cluster and make sure that everyone can get access. So Jeremy, take it away. Sounds good. Okay, let me just share my screen. Okay, there was some confusion yesterday with the wrong slide being sent out. The um, correct slide is in the Slack channel under announcements. Um, we are not using open on demand, especially with how, how many people are connected. So we're going to use port forwarding. Works just as well, if not better. So um, if you guys want to follow along, you all should have received an email from Maxis Security, unless you already have an account on our cluster. And there were a couple of you that did that were TAs. So you, you guys should all be good. If you haven't received an email from Access Security, um, shoot me up in the Slack channel and I can get one sent out to you. Um, so you would get an email, it would be from Access Security. It does not say anything about NVIDIA on it, unfortunately. And within that email, there is, it says set a password. It may or may not show up as hyperlinked. A lot depends on your um, email client if it shows up as hyperlinked or not. If you click on there, it will take you to a pop-up and you can set your password. And it will it also will list in that email what your username is. Your username is randomly generated. So no one on the system could would even know who you were just by looking at your username. Try to keep it that way. Okay, so connect to connecting to access and copying the hash number. So once you've changed your password, it will bring you to this website. If not, there is the link within the um, slide for access that dash rap lab hackathon dot access portal dot io dot apps. I do recommend using Chrome browser or some something based on Chromium. It just tends to work a lot better. Safari has some issues. Um, obviously, Windows Explorer is out. Um, Firefox, it's sort of been hit and miss, depending on what um, plugins you have loaded. But you do need to have pop-ups turned off. Um, so you click on that. You log in with your username and password. You'll be brought up to a window. You'll have two um, icons in the middle of it. One will say open on demand. We're not touching that. That's still work in progress for me. The other one's hackathon login. If you click on that, you'll get a pop-up that will be open web SSH or use a default or a desktop SSH client. We're gonna click on use the desktop SSH client. And we what we wanna make a copy of notepad, um, text, whatever um, program you want to use to make a cop copy of it. We want this hashtag, which is your, for this occurrence would be your login to the cluster. So we copy, copy that, copy it off to whatever notepad, notepad plus, whatever. And um, then press copy so we can copy the entire um, SSH login information. So now we're gonna, oh, okay, they, they changed it up on me since the last time. Okay, so close that window, 
the pop up, click on the hackathon login again, click on open web SSH, and then new tab. It will open up a new tab. It takes a few seconds to connect. You'll get a win window similar to this. And then for launching the lab in that window, you would put in, or you can copy from the from the um, slide. So I believe climate is the first one you guys are doing. You may want to check with your um, instructor. Um, but um, copy the command, put it in, hit enter. What we're waiting to show up is this um, folder or file port forwarding command. When that shows up on, in your screen, the lab's loaded on the node and you're ready to get your port forwarding command. So with that, I'm actually going to share my screen, possibly. Okay, so I'm logged into my access portal. Going to get the command. Go back in, bring up the web SSH. And so I'm just looking back at the launch script because I do not remember at all. Right, I changed it. Creates the job. It's going to go through. That's my old port forwarding. Just seeing what, making sure the jobs actually might be done already. I have a job running already. You cannot run two jobs at once, just to let you know. And it looks like a lot of you have already been able to do it, which is nice. I like that. So we'll try this again. Too many jobs. Now you'll go through. Oh, I'm still going. And it will give you the port forwarding command. And so what we want to do is copy this. And I need to stop this because I have to go to a different window. And what we're gonna do is paste it in there. And the reason I had you copy that hashtag is we need to put that at the end as that's your login. I didn't copy it. There we go. And it's not gonna let me go because I have a job already running. So if you get that error, Check to make sure you don't have a job going. Um, that will bring, once that's done, you can go to your web browser and type in localhost colon 8888, and it will bring up Jupyter and the lab will start running. Um, so I've noticed there's a bunch of people already on. And 
some of you guys have multiple jobs running or have multiple jobs queued up, I will be killing those jobs because you hit the, hit the limit and it just makes it look easier for me to keep track of. So those who haven't been able to log in, if you wanna shoot me a message in the Slack um, cluster forum. And if you haven't received your email from Axis, let me know in there too. I already have one person that sent me an email or sent me a message about that. Um, and I will help you guys over there. Any questions? Awesome, thank you so much, Jeremy. <clears throat> and yeah, um, if you're having any issues, post in that cluster support channel and we'll get right to you. Um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and hand it over to Steven, who's gonna talk about um, what's happening at NERSC for AI for Science. <laughs> 